Hello Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. This is part 5 of the Ravel B25J Mitchell, it's 148th scale. If you didn't see the last episode, I suggest you go back and watch it, that way you can get caught up and you can see where we are. So, we are putting on the wings onto this aircraft, it's got two little things that stick out. You are going to put some glue on those and glue them to the fuselage and then we've got a little joint here. Uh, that you can see put the glue in that joint that way you get a good bond that's how it goes we got two wings on there I am other wing putting in stuff on that joint so I decided that I wanted to fill in that gap because I didn't like how it looked this is just some little tools that I'm using I didn't put tape on this side this is just one way to do it uh, kind of doing it freehand and this is the other way Put some tape on, a lot less messy. That way you can see how this is done. And you just kind of fill it in, smooth it out. You don't want a lot of filler on there, just enough to fill in the gap. So that's what it looks like with the tape on it. It's nice and clean. Here we've got our strut. Cut the strut out. We're going to prepare the wheels, at least the rear wheels, for the uh, preparation for the putting onto the aircraft. So we got our struts, got two of those, got a little seam line here from the mold right down the middle. It's in such a wonderful spot. So uh, it's got little things on the ends. You don't want to cut those off because they actually go on. I cut them off on this part, but not on the other one. So you see where this fits in just like that. You got that little eyelet there, put a little glue on there, and then some right here. And that's how it looks. These are both of them. That one, I have the tabs left on. All right, so you can see where I put all this putty, and you can see that's the side where I did not put any masking tape. It looks a little bit rough, but that's okay. So these are our engine mounts and our cowlings. We are going to prepare all this for assembly, seeing how all this goes together. It's always good to test fit stuff you know see how it goes it's a model making madness we want to make these engines look pretty and we're going to do that with some wonderful paint all right so we've got these little exhaust cover things you saw the real name I put them on there but there's 11 per side or a total of 11 I don't remember there's a lot uh, file down the uh, flashing before you put them on so you can see all of these just get the glue in there and the capillary action will pull it on this is the gas the gun gas extractor it extracts the gas from the gun and it goes on the underside of the aircraft just like this uh, there is not really a lot of places where it shows to go you kind of have to just figure it out and that's what I did I figured it out exactly where it went and I put it on right there as you can see you just got to get all the glue in there hold it in place let it dry it's a long piece make sure the middle sets and both the ends so this is how the cowling is supposed to look with all those little things all the way around all right so we are going to put this on first this is the mount that way we can put some filler in here and you'll see where it meets up and where it's going to need the filler we've got some uh, little registration points there so you can see not the best fit we do need to do some work on that and make it look like it's seamless at least I did you can do what you want so let that glue set and while that glue sets for the mounts we are going to mount our internal guns that go on the outside I say internal because they get a cover over them so I didn't paint them yet because I'm going to paint them after I spray the whole model. I figured that was just easier to do because I wanted things to look like they were already together. So this is what it looks like. We put the covers on those, one per side. A little bit different. It's a tricky model. It comes together nicely though, as you can see. We got the cover on there, both covers on both sides. This is the other cover. One Arcs already has a uh, barrel for a gun in it. That's just how it was molded. And you've got to put the other gun in there. 
you know, fun stuff. So there it is. Put that on. Let the glue dry as usual. And you see you've got two guns in there. And that's it. Just like that. So here, we need to sand this down a little bit. Make it a little even. Put some putty in there. Just like this. Let that dry. Sand it. Fill it. Fill it or sand it however which way you want to do it's kind of a combination of both and you see how good that looks once it's done I left those exhaust inlets on the back there those flares whatever those are somebody please tell me I don't know every piece of a plane I don't fly them I just build them made out of plastic so you see you just kind of shine it and buff it up it'll look good once it's done you can't even see that seam now it's pretty much gone and I shine it with my pads. Got several different grits going on there. And that's it. All right, so we got these deflectors. They go on top of the aircraft behind the gun turret right there. Make sure your orientation is correct for each one of these. That's the second one. You see that glue just sucks right up on there. So this is for the bomb run camera so when they're dropping their bombs they can see where they hit the camera takes the picture and then there is the cover for them i assume that's how they got a lot of pictures from a lot of things especially for the jaunty joe perhaps that's what captured its final flight which is the model we are doing unfortunately so i paint the inside of this cowling black i was gonna say gloss back black but it really isn't gloss it's just a black using my paint pen in there I didn't feel like cleaning out any airbrushes or any brushes for that matter quick little process we got two engines and I just did this that way everything you didn't see any gray in there I'm doing my wheels in two different ways just to show you the difference using my paint pen for one side and then we are going to flip over the other side and use an airbrush that's fun stuff this is what we call having fun with modeling. You don't ever have to do everything too much. Um, I know black may not be the most accurate of colors for tires, but I'm not worried about accuracy for the tires. As you know, my models sit up where nobody ever sees them. This one's high up on a shelf in a kitchen currently. So, yes, it is done. You are just seeing what I have to do. This is the smaller wheel see me going over that I do have liquid uh, mask that's on the inside of there you see I basically you have to go around to get this stuff off uh, this is a thin layer and I learned to do it thicker and thicker each time just kind of peel away in those little outlets there kind of pop it out and then it just comes off and then there is the middle worked out nicely I'm happy with it so I'm learning to use liquid mask um, I'm putting a little bit of a silver color on here little spots little dirt just kind of making it look like aluminum we are going to do the same thing with this right here spray that front aluminum and then we're going to go back and paint it later so here we go airbrushing the tire now it's a little wet there but it comes out nicely and i wasn't so worried about the grain of it you see it's got a little bit of texture because tires aren't always smooth they got a little bit of rigidity texture to that and this is the small little front wheel of course so I am going to show you two different ways of course to do the propellers one with an airbrush and as well another with the paint pen that way you can figure out what you want to try and see hey one really isn't bad over the other and maybe sometimes you don't have to clean out an airbrush afterwards so that's kind of what modeling is about figuring out what works for you and I'm just kind of showing you how I do both of my ways and here I am just spritzing a little bit of black on there just really light just for weathering purposes brings out a little bit of a depth and stuff so here's one of the propellers and you see me doing with the paint pen fairly simple you just go around each blade just like this being careful not to get over everything and there's the two of them I mean it's they look almost identical so this is the inner portion of the propeller that will spin the engine. You got to go a little bit of silver around all these parts, get the nuts and bolts right here on top. Uh, go around there, that's that little engine ring. 
just they got plenty of pictures of these engines little dry brush going on here I made it look warm and we know that those are painted so even with the dry rushing getting all over the place it's almost like it's wrench marks so now let's paint the engines just a bare kind of color it's like a I use my titanium buffing metalizer I believe and just kind of put it on there it kind of makes it pop looks it a little bit weathered I could say using my toothpick I'm just trying different things because they're really small parts trying to figure out how to really do these engines nicely they turned out decent I'm happy with them and that's all that matters I know we get a lot of critiquers out there but like I say no one really looks at these models at least not mine other than you that are watching so we got this little part here I did try to at least paint them as best I could this is a little spindle uh, fits inside of here just like that and that's going to make the prop spin so we see how that lines up and make sure it still spins which it does so now we can glue, glue on the engine you see how it goes on there and naturally a real engine is going to be different than that but this is how this model is designed so we just kind of run with it so we put that on just goes like that remember subscribe comment and like of course hold these in place just like that and until next time as always see ya